Hey, what's up? This is DTJ with another video for you, reminding you to like, subscribe on my channel, and shop on my store. Today, we will go over what not to do while on trains in Japan. It's important that you know these key things so that you're not viewed as inconsiderate and so that your good behavior on the trains will make your fellow countrymen look good. What might be considered okay in your country isn't necessarily okay in Japan. And even though you're not trying to be rude, it will definitely come off as rude in Japan. Let's go over what not to do on Japanese trains. And these things aren't ranked in any particular order. One, no talking on your phone while on the train. It's considered very rude in Japan to take a call while on the train. Your phone should be on silent, vibrate, manner mode, whatever you want to call it, so that no one hears it when it rings. If you absolutely must take the call, you have to cover your mouth with your hand and speak quietly and make the call quick. That's how it's done in Japan. Two, no eating on the train. If you're hungry, it's better to just leave the train. Eating on the train just accumulates trash. People leave trash behind on the train when eating and it just ruins a good commute for people. Others don't want to pick up after you just to sit down. they rather just leave the trash in the seat and stand. They clean it up. I've seen it many times. No drinking alcohol on the train. Being drunk on the train is one thing, but actively drinking a chew high or a sake cup on the train is another. It's a no-no. If you want to drink, it should be a non-alcoholic beverage like a juice or a soda or whatnot with a cap on it and you should take the bottle with you when you leave. No talking loudly on the train. Conversations shouldn't include the entire car. You should keep your conversation at low volume so that only you and the others you are talking to can hear it. You don't want to be the loud person on the train. Some people talk loudly naturally, but it's important that you keep it low. Some Japanese don't understand what you're saying and might take it as you being aggressive and boisterous when you're just talking about something serious and or sad. And you may also think you're having a cryptic conversation and that the rest of the passengers can't understand what you're saying, but that's not always the case. More Japanese speak and understand English than you think. Take off your bag. If you're traveling with a backpack, just take it off and put it on the floor between your legs if you're sitting, and especially if you're standing. You can hit someone in the face with that thing. One time I was riding a train and this one guy had a backpack loaded with stuff and a selfie stick sticking out of the bag. He kept turning around, looking at stuff, and doing so he was repeatedly hitting a poor teenage kid in the head with a selfie stick. I had to go over and tell him to take it off because he was hitting the guy in the head. He apologized to the guy, but the damage was done, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Bags on your back take up space on a train and just makes you look discourteous. So it's better to just take it off your back altogether. Priority seats. These are seats reserved for handicapped, pregnant women, and women with small children and the elderly. Yes, there are a lot of elderly in Japan because the healthcare is so good. But if you're young and fit, just give up the seat. It makes you look badass and it's for them anyway. If no one is around, then yeah, sure, you can sit there. But when it comes time, just give it up to those in need. Women only cars. Women only cars are marked on a platform and the windows of the car designated for women only. If you are a man traveling alone, stay out of them during peak hours. This is usually during the morning rush, I'd say between 7 and 9.30 a.m. I get on one sometimes not realizing it and just get off at the next stop. There are lots of creeps out there trying to cop a feel or make voyeurism videos, so this car is made to mitigate that. Even if that's not your intention, it's best to just stay out of them during the morning rush hours. No swinging from the straps. Trains in Japan have straps that people hold on so that they don't fall over, right? You might be thinking it's a good idea to grab two of them and do a flip or swing from them, but don't. They are strong and sturdy, but you don't want to look like a fool if they can't hold your weight and you just fall on your face. Plus, you could hurt other passengers no fighting i was actually guilty of this back in the day but i was the one that started the fight but you know what i was the one that ended it <laughs> that's for sure fighting on a train is a no-no people will just move out of the way while it's going on and act like you don't exist and no one will break it up anyway the police will just meet you at the next station and the train won't go anywhere if you don't get off no loud music keep your music at a volume where only you can hear it and not the whole train wear headphones or earphones some people have a 40 minute commute and want to take a nap or recovering from a hangover and don't want to be bothered with your loud music. 
just check your volume before and make sure it's not loud so you can enjoy your music without bothering anyone. So doing these 10 things will make you look good, courteous, and mature. That could go a long way in portraying a positive image for foreigners here in Japan. If you know any more tips, leave them there in the comments below to help others out. I'm DTJ, like, subscribe, and shop. I'll see you in the next one. DT out.